Vroom, vroom. <laughs> oh, look at that, eh? Makes you proud in a way, doesn't it? It was all made all them years ago in England. Well, Beauty was a fantastic success. I mean, prior to going, it was, oh, it's going to rain, or oh, it might rain on Sunday. As it happened, it was absolutely fabulous. We had, well, I, I, I tell you, the rain must have not lasted longer than three or four minutes, because I went to talk to somebody in, under the cat, under their shelter, and by the time I walked out, it had stopped. So, perfect weather. And there we are. And I went with Susie and Laura and her mum, and it was really good. I had three nice ladies looking after me. I couldn't go wrong, really. And then, because I met all our followers, loads of followers, loads of lovely, smashing people. So it was all really good. I got rid of a load of stuff which I more or less gave away. I mean, it was all very, very cheap which is what you have to do. We virtually sold out on Friday because all the people that, you know, there was one man who breaks up cars and I had a few Sprite bits and he just bought a lot, so it was lovely. The kettle's boiling up, Ivan. Oh, yeah, we love you. Really? And, and, and a cup of tea. And your lovely clear sofa. Yeah. And we've not got much left. No. You really haven't got much left. We've really got rid of a lot of stuff. And we've got our bit of excitement coming. Yep. But then again, <clears throat> we go to see the star of the Sunbeam. And, you know, you may ask, how was it you was in with the in crowd and in the arena where the car was? Well, there's a bit of a story there. Susie's dad's got this lovely model of the Sunbeam. You know, I, I can't remember. I kept saying to Susie, you know, how big is it? But anyway, as it happens, it's about that long and it weighs a ton. And what it was, it was a thing that Sunbeam did when they were going to break the record. Obviously, it was like a promotion because, you know, they ain't got YouTube in them days, so they used to give all their, you know, customers and people this lovely model so there must have been a load of them but anyway her dad had one and he's had it in the bookcase for years and years and years i think and it years. was i think it was the dealerships that got them well so not that many they're not common probably people that helped her with the engineering and what have you but anyway they got this model so susie said oh they're going to start this sunbeam well we've got a model of it I, I think it might be nice to bring it and just put it on the side you know they weren't going to sell it because they wouldn't sell it, there's no point, you know. Anyway, so we put it on the side, so the word slowly went around, and then Pamela, Susie's mum, said, oh, and then Susie's nephews arrived with her brother. And so, so Pamela said, why don't I go down to the museum with one of the kids? Yeah, Bertie. Bertie. And... Tell her we got this model. So anyway, so off she goes, down to the museum, walks in. Next thing you know, she's in the workshop looking at the car before any of us had seen it. She's got some nice photographs of the kids standing there, you know. Anyway, so then of course, it gets, oh, well, we would really like that model. It would go down ever so well, blah, 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 blah. Well, they ain't going to sell it, so they might as well give it to them. But. Well, they're going to start a very famous sunbeam, and luckily Susie's got a model of it, and we're about to go and see the starting, and hopefully lend the model and the brochure to Bewley. I haven't get in. So we're going to have a proper handover in there. Yeah, yeah this yeah, is just yeah. a little bit of yeah. foreplay. Yeah. <laughs> but the good thing about this is, obviously, Something lovely like that's going to survive. Yeah. But when it's a bit of paper, which is in which there, is in that's there, amazing. That. Don't is. crumple it. Sorry. Sorry, no, we're right. interfering no, no, with your private right. space. Don't worry. This, um, space. Don't this worry. was the oh, magic the, thing. Wow, the brochure that survives. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, and with that's fabulous, mint. fabulous pictures. That's remarkable. So that would have been given to special customers and yeah. dealers and yeah. Yeah. So anyway, there we are, we finish up in the room, in the tent, with all the people that have helped them, 
and people that are giving them money and everything. Well, obviously, we didn't have any food or anything, but we just breezed in with the model. And they said, you know, this is a model blow anyway, that was all good. Uh, I've got here with us this afternoon, we have Susan Pilkington and Ivan Dutton. Sorry, Ivan and Susie have been uh, supporters okay. of Bullion, been on the Auto Jumble Field this weekend, and they have got the most wonderful promotional model that was made by Sunbeam in 1927 for, for di to give to dealerships. And they've also got a brochure that celebrated the 200 mile land speed record in 1927 again given to some being special customers and their dealerships and they are been kind enough today uh, to offer to donate those to the national motor museum so thank you very much indeed <laughs> um, uh, lord montague thank you john perhaps i could just give a little personal perspective on this uh, I have lived with this car all my life. It was in the old Montague Motor Museum. Uh, and at that time, it was on loan to us from the Roots Group, uh, who at the time we had a great relationship with. But as that company uh, got merged into Chrysler, uh, my father did a deal and acquired the car permanently for beauty. Um, but of course, it, I've always known it, as all of you have, as a a very static exhibit, a wonderful looking object, but had never really thought about, you know, what is underneath that casing. And this restoration project, as many of you know, has brought, uh, brought to light so much uh, history and, and information about the car we didn't know, but just what I think you, if you haven't looked at the car already, you, you, you will see. Just seeing it without the casing is a complete revelation. It's, it's a bit like, you know, one of those wonderful cut-out illustrations that you used to get in the boys' own annual. And, uh, you know, for me, uh, even before hearing the engine, and like you, I haven't, I have yet to hear this. Um, it just seeing, seeing beyond that casing, uh, it, it, it's, it's not just a revelation, it, it is actually an engineering work of art and, and I'm determined that before we completely put the car back together but after the second engine goes in we get it into a studio and photograph it you know in high precision because it, it really is just a fantastic sight to see. Come on. We're all ready. So in association with Formals Engineering from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, So we finished up with the executives looking at the starting and the next thing we said to the man who was looking after us who is a, a volunteer we not mind going in the ring and he said oh come on and open the thing and in we went so we got loads of lovely footage of the car I mean really looking at it talking to the man who's been working on it for 12 years or whatever so that is how I managed to get in the ring I didn't you know I mean I wasn't if it hadn't been for the model or whatever, I wouldn't have left the school. Yeah, you want to get in front of it? And that tank is very much like a target. Yeah, any comments? Yeah, it's a knockout. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> yeah, Fingers on, crossed, then. though. Sorry, yes. <laughs> We're just going to go again. Oh, are we'll you? We'll get out of the way. Yeah. Just take a plug out. Yeah, it's got a couple. Number of one. one. Yeah, number one. Yeah. Well done, boys. Great effort. Yeah. Thank you, and I saw the model, thank you. I'm 
Because to recreate the land speed record tyre technology it would have cost like a quarter of a million yeah, or something yeah. to, to, yeah. to What to you've got to do with them, you've got to machine off a bit. Uh, yes, the, 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 the wheels, that, the, well, Sunbeam, when they first kept the car, they, they put truck tyres on it yeah. and they, they remodelled the wheels so they've yeah. been slightly adjusted yeah, now yeah, to yeah. these ones. When you, when you go anywhere with a racing car, mm. and I've had a lot of experience in that, mm. having started off with a tread like that is no good. Mm. What I used to do, when I raced front wheel drive cars, I used to jack them up, yeah. put an anvil in front of them, and with a turning gouge for wood, right. I used yeah. to just turn the tread off, it used to go over <laughs> my shoulder, just like wood. But it made wow. a big difference. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. worth more surface area. You can make a fuss about that. Yes. That would look good. No, that's good. But I love the thin chassis. Very clever. Yeah, it's, it's the whole car, the way that it, yeah. the, the technology, they, they did all the wind tunnel testing yeah. at uh, the National Physical Laboratory at Teddington, a little bit of Brooklyn's as well. Yeah. Um, but the, if you look at the technical reports, they understood airflow. Yeah. Uh, they even used the term ground effect. Really? And this is a long time before Collins. <laughs> so, um, you know. My springs, like I've got my horn scar, yeah. which I bought and viewed. Yeah. I mean, that is a real bit of art. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's all good, isn't it? Look at that. It's, everywhere you look is super engineering. Well, that's all made from the solid, all of that. Yeah, it was you know, a one-off and it really is a one-off. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. a three-three gearbox. When the touch up, you touch it on the seat. That vibrate your bottom. Well, I, do I bet you didn't have that comfy a seat in the day. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, look at that, eh? Yeah. Makes you proud in a way, doesn't it? It was all made all them years ago in England. So or looks like that in the UK. Yes. You know the brake drums, they're big. Well, they need to be, I should think. Look at that chain. Yeah, that seen a radius run there. You know, all the specials that they're building today, Yeah. everybody's looking for train, train drive gearbox. But not like that one, obviously. No, it's just super. Very clever. I wonder who Is that did... Four max? Yeah, I wonder who did them. Yeah, can, we, can we have a moment of your art channel, please? We thought we'd do a bit of a shout out to the fundraiser. I wonder who did the mags. Who did them? Yeah. Oh, you've got a man, have you? Oh, Alan Fairbrother. Oh. Yeah. I haven't got that accurate No. You know, I'm an old Tony Stairs, and did you ever come across them? I could never get hold of him. No, he, yeah. you know, yeah. he, 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 he was totally unreliable. But yeah. When he did the job, it was fabulous. Yeah, well, this is it. I mean, especially with aircraft people yeah. as well. Yeah, when well, he used to do yeah. tight, um, Spitfire mags yeah. and all that. Exactly. You know, yeah, exactly, yeah. That's a lovely job, though. You think so? Oh. I'm pleased, oh. pleased he said so. Stan, yeah. this is 12 years of your life in this project. 12 years I've been working on this car, yeah, off and on, obviously, yeah, obviously, you know, yeah, when, yeah, when yeah. funds become available. Yeah, yeah. But now we've got a deadline to get it to Daytona. We're going to go. So oh, we're going to go, we're going to go. go. And go. Go. I know you've got to go, but before you do, here's a little thank you from us. So we'll swap, oh. you, we'll swap you one model don't, for don't another. Be, don't be giving it to him, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. look at that, Susie. So there we go. So you can have that as, as, a, as a thank you from us. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's good, great. isn't it? Well, thank you once again.
So here John, we are again. Here we are again at Bewley. Yeah. Fabulous weekend. Yeah. 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 And John, you're fundraising, aren't you, to take this car to Daytona? We are. We're fundraising to finish the project, which is to complete the car, uh, get the funds so Stan can do the front engine, and then take the car back to America for its centenary in, in 2027. Right, folks, this is where Shed Racing comes in. Let's give them a few quid and get them going. And then we'll all go and we'll have a right party. And Ian, you haven't got that long to do the other engine. Not long at all, you know, but um, hopefully, you know, with our partners of Formals Vintage Racing, who did the white belt on, on the rear engine, yeah. they're yeah. going to help us out with the front engine. Oh, that's so, cool. Um, yeah. And you've learned so much as well, haven't you, on this engine? Well, yeah, I've been, as I say, I've been working on this for 12 years now. Yeah. So, yeah, so I know it reason. inside out. And yeah, so the other so, thing is we're, yeah. we're making sure that there are no distractions for Ian over the next year while he really knuckles down yeah. with it. And he was the man who said, when it rains, go out with a pix on the top. Yeah. Yeah. People are saying, oh, you're running in us. No, no, right. he, he's a designer, he ought to know. Exactly. And I yeah. won a lot of races in the rain. Yeah. You know. So, Mallory Park was good for you, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. it flew, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a good boy, that boy. He is. He is very good. Well, I see, I see Mark's put the... Uh, the um, got it all back together. You got it all back yeah. together. That was really good. And of course, typical museums, I mean, everybody thinks it's all, they've all got more money than that. They ain't got any money, you know, and of course they, they've got all sorts of people helping them. They've had some good people helping them doing the white metal in and the lime boring and all, because that's got to be pretty good, that. So anyway, there they are, they're trying to raise money. So I said, well, I think we ought to put it out to our folks that you're trying to raise money. You never know, you might get a couple of quid from them. I mean, Susie's bicycle people got two grand, which amazed me. But anyway, that's not real there. But, 2027, they're going to Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach, where it ran in the t in the day, you know, it's going to be the centenary of it. So, I mean, provided they can get it done and everything, I said to Susie, we're going to have to go, but then Susie said, oh, we don't want to make too many things into the future, I mean, you are 85, wicked person. But anyway, we're going, hopefully, we, oh, well, I would love to go and see it drive up and down, and it really is good. So, you know, and it's a lovely old thing. And when you think how clever it is and how beautifully made it is, it just shows you what we used to do. And they didn't have CNC machines in them days. It was a bloke turning the handles that did that. So it's very, very good. And, you know, can't complain at all. Beauty wasn't as big as it used to be, but because it makes it more comfortable. But I wish it was a bit bigger than it used to be. You know, I'm really getting worried about Beauty, to be honest. Quite a lot of young people there, but you know, I think us old boys are probably dying out, so anyway, we'll see. I've got to remember something now. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. And thank you very much, everybody who comes to talk to me, because you know, I love meeting the people, this is smashing people. And you know, they've all got a story, and it ain't what it's worth listening to nine out of ten times. So there we are. So the next thing is the offing rigid. We've actually finished putting the body on. We've done a few mods here and there. You know what it's like when you finish a car. It's never any really good because you have to finesse it a bit. But we've had a big problem with the tyres. We thought we'd buy some 12-inch rally tyres, but they're only about that big, and they won't go on the rooms anyway because they're too tight. So the only tyres I've got are all the same some shower tyres that look like they look like we're going to go trialling but it's the only thing that's going to fit and at least we can push the car up out and drive it a little bit but I think in the end I'm going to have to make some new wheels 13 inch so we can run on Dunlop racing tyres so what we need is a friendly pattern maker so think about that there's got to be one out there somewhere we can come and take this project on so there we are, we're up to date.